How's it going, everybody? Welcome back. Some of you guys have been asking, how can you hide your IP address while you're browsing on the internet? So I'll mention three ways that are free and one much more reliable and secure way, uh, but it is paid. We've got three VPNs. I've tested over a couple of dozen VPNs and I've narrowed it down to these three is the best overall. They all vary in budgets and features. So you can choose depending on your own preferences. If you want to go with a VPN, uh, you will need a VPN specifically if you're trying to hide your IP address, but also use these IP addresses uh, to access, let's say, streaming services that are not available to you. If you want to encrypt your traffic, if you're on public Wi-Fi, because yes, one of these ways is by simply going on public Wi-Fi that will give you a different IP address. What you can also do is use the Tor browser. But again, I don't recommend using the Tor browser without a VPN especially if you're in a censorship heavy country where the government or ISP may not want you to access the Tor browser. While your IP address will be completely hidden when you're in the Tor browser, the ISP can still know that you are using your own IP address to connect to the Tor browser. So I always recommend that you combine the Tor browser with a VPN. Another way you can change your IP address for free, of course, is by changing your proxy settings. So you can find tons of free proxies online and just, um, you know, check out one of these free proxies. Of course, they do come with uh, security risks. They tend to lack security and privacy features. Their overcrowded servers can have very slow speeds and they only hide your IP address in your browser. Uh, but if that's something you want to do just to change your IP address, you can use a proxy server right here after going to the settings and put in the IP address and port and you are good to go. But I don't exactly recommend that because like a VPN, a proxy server hides your IP address by sitting between your device and the sites you visit. So whenever you visit a website, it sees the IP address of your proxy instead of your real one but where a proxy server falls short is its lack of security and privacy features since they don't encrypt your connection and don't cover dns traffic unwanted third parties can still see your online activity and collect data about you they're also more susceptible to man in the middle attacks because they lack the authentication that vpns have that's why i typically would recommend a vpn now a cool way to also change your ip address for free is simply switch on the hotspot uh, on your mobile device. If you have mobile data, you can just turn on the mobile devices hotspot and it will act like a router and then connect your PC to the device or again, use public Wi-Fi. But I definitely don't recommend using public Wi-Fi without a VPN because you'll be compromising your data, especially if you have any billing data on your device. But in terms of VPNs, this is definitely the most reliable way, especially if you want to access geo-restricted content. So if there's a website that's not available to you and maybe it's only in Germany, you can connect to Germany and then you'll have access to it very easily. And of course, if I go to my IP finder to refresh, it will show as if I'm in Germany and it's pretty much the simplest and best way to uh, change your IP address. Let's say I want to unblock Hulu because Hulu is only available in the States and Japan. No problem at all. Go to any of these VPNs and pick a United States server, connect to it. And now I have a United States uh, IP address, which will also give me access to every single website that's available in uh, the States, as well as all the streaming services. And of course, with any of these VPNs, I can also torn to my heart's content without any bandwidth limitations or throttling. So that's pretty much it for this video, though. If you guys want to learn a little bit more about these VPNs with regards to the privacy policy, speed streaming, and torrenting capabilities as well security and features you'll find the full reviews down below and of course you'll find links to pricing discounts in the description down below if you guys want to go straight to that they're all covered by a 30-day money-back guarantee so in case you're not satisfied with any of them you can just get yourself the refund besides that comment below if you have any questions i'll be happy to answer all of them like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything vpns and cybersecurity thank you guys very much for watching and i'll see you in the next one have a wonderful day